as we look at the road ahead, it's many times uncertain. I think about a fog that happened the other day and how you can't see the road in front of you. You don't know where you're going. It's unclear. How many people feel that way sometimes about your future? It's unclear. The door is just beyond where you can see. But I love his, his word. It says to us in Psalms, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Have you ever seen the sun come through the trees in the forest and you're walking through a path? It happened to me. I was up at a, at a place in, in, in outside of Austria, outside of Vienna, uh, in, in Gutenberg, and we were up on top of this thing taking a prayer walk. And it's a darker, darker kind, of, uh, kind of forest. But suddenly there's this sun that's coming through the trees, illuminating the path. And man, there's just a peace of God that resided on me in that moment as I saw this thing come alive, this scripture come alive before my eyes of walking in an illuminated path as he illuminates it before us. Not as we try to force our way in the darkness, but as he illuminates it before us. See, here's what I believe about the future and the road ahead, that there are great days ahead. See, I'm believing for an amazing 2020. I think there's gonna be great things, and even though there's chaos and there's uncertainty and there's all these things, and that will be there, I believe it's going to be great. I think it's going to be great for you. I think the blessing of God is going to be on your life. I think you're going to go to another level in him and have a new revelation. I believe it's going to be that way for our church and new people are going to come and we're going to see our community of faith grow. See our influence grow as we go and be a light in our workplace, in our school, on our campus, wherever we go. It says this in Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell within. For he has founded it upon the seas and established upon the rivers. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully, he will receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob.